these Russian actions have all the signs of a deliberate tactic to undermine, at all costs, the efforts of the OSCE community to send independent civilian monitors to Ukraine to make an objective assessment uh, of the situation on the ground. In light of all this, only logical explanation would be is that the Russian Federation tries to avoid exposure of its actions in Ukraine as it lies about the situation in my country. Uh, unfortunately, um, I didn't have a chance to meet or talk to Minister Lavrov. I asked for telephone conversations uh, after I was nominated uh, the foreign minister, acting foreign minister. And um, it's already three weeks uh, that we've been trying to reach him, but without success. Uh, I'll keep trying. And uh, maybe I'll send the greetings to him tomorrow for his best day. Сообщил о том, что в местечке Рачак произошел геноцид. Uh, uh, absolutely clarity on the issue of how many observers, in which places they will go, and uh, what they will be doing over there. It's an important, very important issue, because in the past we uh, had uh, different stories uh, I have just outlined it as well in Russia, I will not uh, going to repeat them, which have led to very grave consequences. Obviously, President Obama announced this morning uh, the next set of U.S. sanctions. He made it clear that Russia has made choices. Uh, the international community has rejected those choices. Uh, Russia stands isolated, and there will continue to be consequences for uh, illegitimate, illegal actions taken by the Russian Federation. Uh, this next round of sanctions, I've seen the initial uh, responses uh, from uh, social media and elsewhere, and uh, I think it's clear that this next round uh, will hit uh, very close to some of the most corrupt figures in Russia. We have a letter from a number of senators. I saw the letter. Oh, you saw the letter, and they replied to that. Okay.